The Walthall family hits the road again after a great time floating the Smith River with the extended family. Now they push south with an ultimate goal of reaching the Bighorn Mountains in Wyoming. X Overland Solo Series is presented by General Tire and the Grabber X3 Tire, the official tire of the Walthall Solo Series, available at TireRack.com and in association with Patriot Campers and PCOR Systems. Not on the highway anymore. No. <laughs> we have found some adventure. Yes, we have. <clears throat> found a little patch or a big patch of BLM land that uh, is good for camping on. So we uh, are pulling off exploring this BLM land and it's turning out to be a pretty <laughs> awesome spot. <laughs> oh gosh. Nice work. It's killing it. <laughs> Whoa, what's on top of that hill? Let's go check it out. Wow, that's as tall as Stella. We found some antlers along the way. Woo, and a jawbone. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. As they pass through Lovell, Wyoming, they get a tip that they need to go see the Bighorn Canyon before heading up the mountain. All right, let's go check out this canyon. The Bighorn Canyon was named by the Crow Indians for the large population of Bighorn sheep that used to frequent the area. And if you spend enough time in here, you will find them. at the base of the Bighorn Mountains on the Bighorn Scenic Byway. And we are headed up that road, up the mountains to the top of the plateau to Burgess Junction. Uh, it's gonna be quite the climb, super steep grade and it's boiling out here, so hope we can make it. I think Trinity's up for it. Here we go. We are climbing. eating dessert before dinner. <laughs> because all of us said yes. <laughs> wow. Yeah, this is this is true glamping. Anyone that gets on our case about how we're glamping, this is no, a little perspective. We're not even scratching the surface at this point. I mean, it's a palace. They have a fireplace inside. Well, everyone needs a fireplace. <laughs> We are going to eat dinner inside for the first time this whole trip. <laughs> Welcome to my parents' house. Thank you, buddy. Hello, sir. Oh, thank you, thank you. Uh, couch away. Can I sit right here? Wow. The fire? <laughs> <laughs> okay. We'll do the blessing and then present. Okay. Okay, how are you? Control your fire, Stella, and help not to sit. Amen. Okay, Stella, all present. Happy early birthday, Stella. Happy early birthday. Happy birthday. There you go. Ooh, pretty. Ooh. Oh, that's so pretty, Yours does Stella. Not have on it. <laughs> so, before it after goes you go to the stream, you mean? Before it closes. After a quick planning session. It's time to call it a night. Good night. It is so cold. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. It was 90 degrees down in uh, the valley. We get up here on top, it's like 30. Well, the kids abandoned us and went into the heated camper. They left us behind. Oh, we're stuck here with the cows mooing. But I think we freezing get... Freezing our heinies no, off. I think we get the real treat because we get to hear the elk. Mm. The elk are slowly coming into this hilltop where we're camping and they're just starting to surround us and they're just, they're bugling and talking like crazy. It's such a treat to hear, but it's so cold. Yeah. <laughs> Got some fishing tomorrow, some good off-roading, I think, down to the fishing hole. And uh, if it looks good, we'll camp there. But uh, yeah, tonight, hopefully we get some sleep. Look at that, the sun is coming up. Starting the day off right. <laughs> There's a moose. Oh, I know everyone's different, but the reason we come out here is to get away from it all and uh, get some solitude in nature. And something's going down right now that I don't know that I agree with. Mowing the lawn. I mean, this is a completely wild place. Not cool. Got to get out of here. This is not our jam. We're off to find a fishing license. Uh-huh. Hello. How are you? Good. Yeah. I got the fishing licenses. One for me and one for ID. ID? Right, we're Bear Lodge. Just got our Wyoming licenses. Got regulations. So now we're ready to hit the trails, find some fish. Let's go. So Megan's dad has been in the Big Horns for like 25 years, exploring around, finding good fishing holes. So he's got a favorite spot that he's showing us, and it's allegedly a four-wheeler encouraged trail only, but you can fit a truck down there. So we're gonna try it in a giant full-size truck and a trailer. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> so far. Oh my gosh, this thing is so smooth. I love it. So mom couldn't handle the ATV. The ATV was a little bumpy, so yes. she hopped in Trinity and yes. you like it. Awesome. <laughs> yes. Good deal. <laughs> what are you thinking? I'm thinking that uh, that side looks really nice for a campsite. So, but unfortunately, we need to cross this creek. Here we go. You guys? River crossing. Think we're gonna make it? I hope so. 
I hope so. We made it. That was awesome. Woo! Found a good campsite by the river, and uh, it's super hot out here. It's only probably 80 degrees, but the sun is piercing hot. So we set up the awning. It's gonna give us some nice shade, making some lunch, and then uh, as the evening sets in, we're gonna go fishing. Hopefully slaying some big trout. Woohoo! This is a remote place the Walthalls approve to call home for the night. There's no cows, no lawnmowers, just the peaceful sound of an age-old river at their door. In the next chapter, the Walthalls move deeper into the Bighorn Mountains and explore more of this rugged and wild land.